birthday. All right. All right, can you guys hear me? Because I feel like you haven't heard me the past few times. So, all right, aside from uh, never disavowing nor distancing yourselves from the NSBA, the labeling concerned parents, terrorists, let's talk about a section of loco parentis. State law does not define what constitutes psychological treatment in a school setting or who within school is qualified to provide it. Federal law does. The definition is an activity involving the planned systemic use of methods or techniques that are not directly related to academic instruction, and it is designed to affect behavioral or emotional or attitudinal characteristics of an individual or a group. Now, let's talk about some highlights from a study published on April 20th, 2021, by your guys' beloved NIH. So, the study goes on to say, masks also restrict the cognitive abilities of the individual accompanied by a decline in psychomotoric abilities and consequently a reduced responsiveness as well as an overall reduced performance capability, right? So, it also goes on to talk about how it inhibits the habitual, habitual actions such as eating, drinking, touching, scratching, and cleaning the otherwise uncovered part of the face, which is continuously and subconsciously perceived as a permanent disturbance, obstruction, and restriction. Wearing masks thus entails a feeling of deprivation of freedom and loss of autonomy and self-determination, which can lead to suppressed anger and subconscious, constant distraction, integrity, self-determination, and autonomy, coupled with discomfort, often contribute to substantial... Mm. Distraction and may ultimately be combined with the psychological mask related decline in psychomotoric abilities, reduced responsiveness, and an overall impaired cognitive performance. It leads to misjudging situations as well as delayed, incorrect, and inappropriate behavior and a decline in the effectiveness of the mask wearer. All right, now let's talk about a story. So, I agree not to go Okay, well, I'll just keep using the speaker then. So, you guys talk about masks for everyone's safety and for the benefit of the kids. Well, what if you have a first or second grader? This first or second grader is sitting in class, not doing anything, just paying attention to the teacher. And that teacher goes out to every other classmate individually except for you or your kid. And then the teacher announces in front of the class that she gave everybody a piece of candy, except for that one kid and one child. And then she, that teacher says to that child that they did not get a piece of candy because they were, married, they were not wearing their mask properly. That sounds to me like a violation of the local parentis. Okay, because that right there is explicit subjugation of that child as well as discrimination of that child. And the fact that you guys either didn't know and or it wasn't reported is terrifying. And the fact that this teacher has yet to be reprimanded or fired shows that this kind of behavior is acceptable and or endorsed. And then you guys want to, then you guys are promoting the vaccine, right? I don't have a problem with vaccines, but you guys are promoting a vaccine that is not FDA approved. Because you can even look on the FDA website and October 29, 2021, they revised the EUA, which shows that BioNTech and Comirnaty are not identically formulated, but instead contain different ingredients 
So you guys are promoting a vaccine that is technically under EUA because it's not commercially. Okay, I'm going to have to ask you to sit down. That's fine. Thank you.